This is Reg. He does this every week. He's cleaning his car, he's cleaning his car mats. He's got up this morning at half past seven. And he was out cleaning the car by half past eight. Right then, bit of a special day today. Today, it's the 23rd of February, which means it's Reg's birthday, my dad. A Reg, big birthday today. So today, I've done a bit of digging, found out his history, where he was born, where his first schools were, where he used to hang out, and where he used to go to his main clubs. And so today, I'm gonna to take him on a tour all the way around all of these locations We've got a day all about Reg. Right, first of all, let's go take him his prezzies. Hello. Yeah, I'm taking today off. Because today, you and I are going on a magical mystery tour. Oh, bugger. Um, Don't panic. And we're going to pick up Barry on the way. And uh, yeah, we're going to go on a, a Reggie history tour. Oh! <laughs> All part of the plan. Well, thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Oh, we've got a few um, odds and sods for you as well. Oh, God bless you, mate. Thank you. Another bottle. Oh, lovely, lovely. So we're set. We're going to go and we're going to go and see Barry. Is the kettle on then? Now I've got a uh, feel, feel good. Happy birthday. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm an octopus, you know, now. An octogenarian. It's bonkers, isn't it? Do you feel different? You certainly feel different. It's a bit frightening. Uh, I'll get the kettle on anyway. Yeah, right. you, um, you can do that. Have a coffee first. No, have a coffee first. You did a coffee, yeah. tea. Coffee's good. Yes, yeah, I'll have a coffee. Coffee's lovely. Cool. Splendid. Well, that's a great time we could take do. It's a bit tricky to get your thing in position. We were we went to that's part of the reason why Reg wanted to go in the back so he didn't have to depart about with all of that uh, <laughs> with the belt. Is that right? Should that be? Yeah. Well that bit goes over your shoulder so that's a comfort thing. Yeah, so okay. it uh, you're in, sorted. And you're right in the back there? I'm fine, Jolly good. I'm quite happy. Um over on your right, against the panel on the side, you'll see some white paper down against the panel and in between the panel and the bags. Yeah, I tell you what, let me. I'm here, mate. I'm okay. Yeah, it's all right. No worries. Let me just uh, come across and sort them out for you. So to give you an idea, a feel for stepping back in time to where it began. Now, what you got there is some photos of Dudley Road, as was, and also you might recognise a couple of other places that are in there. Did you Google them? It certainly did. Do you remember Ignal Port Road? We used to walk up and we used to go to the baths, mate. We used to go to Monument Road swimming baths. But we used to walk up Pickle Port Road to go to it. Which swimming bath? Monument Road swimming baths. Oh, I know. I, know. I can't remember that one. Oh, 
I remember the name, but I never think like, oh yeah, I do, I would really. Oh, Great stuff. Well, didn't we? Reach Crab East and change the old chap in front. Righty-o. There you go. Some old history for you. Bloody hell, look at that. The cars and the tram. I forgot the trams, Rich. Yeah, they used to run down the road. I remember them taking them up. The, 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 the line. Oh, I remember it was sadder. Yeah, I remember the tram lines in Dudley Road. They were a devil for your bike if you got your bike in the blinking tram line. <laughs> you, off. you got no chance. So that era is uh, nineteen forty. So that's thirty to forty. That era. Don't know exactly when. Yeah, that's when that was from. That. That was yeah, we were there, Rich, because I was there all the way through the war when my dad was in the services. So, is this taking something? Yeah, you're videoing at the moment. So what if you look in the screen, if you flip it towards you, facing the lens facing towards you, look in this screen, yeah. you can see what it's recording. And if you want to, you can flip the screen round. The screen on the right hand side of the camera. And that screen there will show you exactly what you're looking at. Oh, I see, the, on the right hand side. Oh, I don't want to be looking. Is that me? That's you, that is. So you are now what they know as vlogging. Unshaven. That's video logging, vlogger, vlogger Barry. I think I'll, we'll get Reg on it. Turn it around and point it forward. It's where we're going is, is more interesting than where we've been. Yeah, shall I? <laughs> is this? The camera needs to go around in the other direction. So you can turn the camera to now, the whole body. Turn your hand out to face the window. Do you want there you go. And then that screen on the side will actually twist. So you can point it back. Yeah, so you can point it back and you can see what you're looking at. This is why you should be here, Reg, you're the photographer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, done a bit of uh, had a, a bit of a common flab that day before you met about the places that you've been to and stuff that you've seen done together. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I was so concentrated on it. What, what was the start of that conversation? I can't see the tower. Why can't I so, see? So, what you, what you can do is that one at the front will zoom. Oh, okay. Oh, I've got, you've got the tower now. Okay. So, where do I take it? I'll press you. You're already taking it because it's a video. Oh, all right. I would think you'd want the hospital, wouldn't you, Rich? Why would you want the hospital? The what are you trying to say? Yeah, it might be 80, but bloody hell, come on. It's 80, isn't it? Here's the QE. Yeah. Why should we just do a, a tour of hospitals then yeah, to see? City Road, Rich. Oh, City Road, yeah. The doctors used to be on the corner. That's where my girlfriend li lived down there. Carol Brown, you yeah. She's now uh, the wife of a... Uh, Sunday school mate of ours. She lived in one of those, I can't remember which one. That little thing behind us on the right is uh, Dr. Roger who used to be there. He had his surgery in the house. Who was that? Dr. Roger. My, uh, my mum used to go to him, she thought he was one of them. Oh, Dr. Rogers. It's a road on the right, isn't it? Was that Dr. Rogers? It is. Oh, right. It's road on the right. How about that thing? Let's go and have a look at your old school. This was a junior and infant school, by the way, this was. Nothing posh. It was a girls' school, wasn't it? It was well, but it isn't now. It's changed over a period of time. Yeah, boys and girls together. Senior girls. It's still a school, mate. I've just realised it's been 11 years since I came back as a, a lecturer, as a, as a student doing urban design course. Yeah. <laughs> I can 
remember coming up here with edges and getting told off because I was pulling leaves off the head and some woman said, some woman said, stop doing that <laughs> and get off home. <laughs> That's it. Do you remember, Reg? Yeah. Yeah. What's it classed as now? I think it's changed a bit. I'm not sure. I think they've added something at the top. Because it, it was City Road Infants. Actually, yes. Never, never uh, Cavendish Road, would not it? City Road Infants. It is amazing, Rich. That 11 years since I did that. As an old man, 65. So we never saw each other at, at school. No, we were not. Any of the school. Because we both moved on to George Dixon's, which was the boss school up the road, uh, which was the, you know, the grammar school. Yeah. And Barry aspired to, you know, through exams, to go on to grammar school. I took all the exams and failed. <laughs> so consequently, we were in sort of separate groups. Well, I, well, I was well a year you, older, you were in a year older, so <laughs> you went with, but I met up with all your mates. Right. Yeah. Uh, What's his name? Um, Rich Smith. No, not no, Rich Smith. no, later, later time. Uh, oh, Tony. Well, Tony Bishop. I Tony Bishop. Let's go then. Who was this? It, in our, uh, to our mind. Tony was a bit of a thug, wasn't he? He, he was, was a thug, but yeah. in actual fact, your dad oh, well, beat him, didn't you? We had a bunch of. Yeah, when we went to senior school. Um, yeah. He carried on being a general bully, and as such, the sportsmaster, who was the charge of the school at the time, uh, he said, right you bear, he said, if you're going to have conflict, is he going to be in boxing? Oh my goodness, man. And we, they set up a, a, a square of benches around, and as such, it um, you know, formed a, a boxing ring, and he said, right, you've got three rounds. And I got in around in the first, and of course he was cocky and I was frightened of him. And he knocked ten bells out of me in the first round. And I said, I'm not standing for this, and my temper got up. And, you did? Uh, yeah. And I, <laughs> I said about him, he said, the teacher said, that's enough, finish that, it's too much. <laughs> Sorry. These lampposts don't move, do they, Rich? No, <laughs> no, got me. Wimborne. Yeah. He used to, uh, Bobby Swindler lived down there, didn't he? Yeah. Not Bobby Swindler. Uh, Bobby Swindler used to live down there on the yeah. rock. Yeah. yeah. And there was a, uh, a young lady who lived at that house there on the corner. And she used to take me to Sunday school. And because my mum and dad wanted me out of the way on Sunday afternoon, we used to clear off. She hadn't used to take me to Sunday school, but she used to take me in the park. And the money we got for the plate, we used to spend on ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> that's wicked. So that's, that's why you were more religious than me, because I never went. <laughs> oh, you did, I remember, didn't you? Yeah, the Bobby Swindler used to live there, and Victor Collins used to live further on down. Oh, was he off further up? No, he was on this, this, this road here, but he was, he was further down there. And uh, Bobby Swindler was up more up in this direction. How might... There's a story here, which you may I would have told you over the year, that in the war, it was in the end of the war, the, I can remember, I was coming up Rotten Park Road and a big American truck pulled up and the guy leaned out and said, here are kid, and he gave me a block of chocolate, which was like gold. gold. Yeah, it was. Absolutely gold. But I read, I could, I was able to, I don't know what he was, I could read the paper or I heard it, that, that Hitler was dropping poison stuff. <laughs> so I got this chocolate and, and I went to, read, uh, Jeff was playing with, yeah, with Victor I think, or Russell. Yes. Russell somebody. And I gave them some to see what the effect was on them before I had any. <laughs> <laughs> Test it out on somebody else. That's the that's the house at the top where we were talking about. That's Raymond's house. That's that's the where the White Houses used to live. 
Well, as such, we more. spend a lot of our happy years in that house up at the top end of the road on the right on the hand right, side. The corner. Do you want to go up? Or do, it's up nope. to you. I'll see how much legs I've got because I, you know, I'm not that much walking power. I want to go down and have a I just wonder to whether the guys are still there. Yeah, and me. Well, I, I, the other memory I've got of there is a three telegraph poles like that in the road. And on VE day after the war, there was a huge bonfire and they opened all the garage up and they were playing. Um, had a party, didn't they? They had a hell of a party. And uh, I always remember this boat playing the piano. And I remember, I, and when I, Mom had her 80th, 80th birthday oh. party, they, she invited them all, or rather, Cal did that. And um, I said to this guy, who was a, a relative of some description, I said, uh, I remember you playing the piano. And he said, I can't play the piano. And I thought, <laughs> oh, what, who was it then who played That was this. Oh, it'd be the bloke next door, Smith, the Smith. I, I know, I've just realised who he was after all these years. What have they done there? Yeah. Is that wasn't the bottom that, of your road, was it? That used to be um, an entrance there, and as such, all the courting couples used to have spent all the time in that back garden. And they didn't know that little Reggie Broad was on the far side of the fence and sent to you could get in through this entrance here and get round into the garden next door. I didn't know that. Yeah. Which entrance? Uh, on the, the back of the garden, all this was garden up to this, these, this fence here, around the, all this was all garden. Oh, yeah. And it used to be a brick wall all the way along here, right up to the corner. Tudor Davis's house? Yes, he used to be. Oh, well done, yeah. Where the, is that the sale notice? Yes, that's where he used to be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there used to be big wooden doors here as well. But, uh, there was none do. of this, was there? No, no, that's all changed. I, I'm not surprised because the, the wall was. Um, I can't remember it. The wall there was. There was a gate to it, Yeah. And do you remember we used to walk along the top of the wall? Yes. Or you did. <laughs> that was the dock, wasn't it? Let's walk up in this direction, see if the, the legs will stand this. All right. Bring back memories of it, I didn't know this. All this area has changed so much, though. I can't remember what it was. Guys, there was you, me, Johnny Hawkley, and I think Clive Benton. We were all in our at the room upstairs, and we always used to have a bit of a rowdy lads night on Sunday night. And Jackie Featherston turned up, and <laughs> she'd got a boyfriend at the time. Okay. And we were, we were all in this room, and all started laughing around. <laughs> well, his boyfriend turned up, came upstairs, and whisked her away dead quick. Because, you know, we were old-time mates. We were he wasn't going to be this letter me with this crowd of lecturers. Yeah. <laughs> she was quite attractive, wasn't she? Yeah. How did you come to know her? As mum's mate. Oh. And, you know, we were kids playing up together. She was a friend of all in three of them. Right. And remember Roy Strebo used to be um, Pauline's husband. He's, was he down his there? His mum and dad used to live down there, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got a half-size snooker table up there, 
And you could turn it round and we used that for table tennis then, didn't we? Ray used to have all the clever gear. He was the one that got me interested in woodwork as a pattern maker. The reason was they had a foot treadle saw. You got operate this foot treadle saw, it went up and down, and you could cut things out like out of the bandsaw. is great. We used to get balsa wood and make all sorts of odd toys out of it. But the saw would go in all directions. But that garage over there had a flat roof on it. That was a flat roof. That pitch roof, they ruined that. <laughs> and there was a veranda. Do you remember the veranda entrance room? Yes. I remember the, the veranda? Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised they haven't built on this back here because that was all right to be right, wasn't it? Oh, Rich, we played uh, cricket out here and we'd only got a stick and I remember somebody, I was here batting and they were bowling and I caught this one and swung it and it went straight through that glass window <laughs> and she come out and we ran like bloody hell yeah because all but that got to, yeah all that was ideal for us I mean flats because it was that, that sort of house so big up to that door there I'm not sure where they are. That's that. Is that window? Yeah. It must have been there. I don't remember that. How, the, how that glass veranda would have worked, I don't know. I don't know. remember that baby there. No, I don't. But I think it probably was. It is. Yeah. It's okay. I wasn't about that to Nice to speak to you. Yeah, Thanks very much, John. Indeed. Thank you. There used to be a walk to, to school in the morning sometimes up here. Coming up to Shenston Road soon. Clive Benson, Clive Benson used to live up here. That one. That one. That's the window of the church there, Barry. Oh yes, I can see that. Oh yes, definitely. Yep, very, very different from what it was. I don't remember much about the back view. No, I don't think there was ever, you know, in most churches it's got an outbuilding attached to it. I don't think they'd ever had, did have. I think there was only the church itself and everything used to go on within the church. That's a bit different. Yeah. A bit palatial now. And this is, Barry's is to the right down. Well, do you come want to go right here? here? No, we go straight on up for now, mate. Okay. Since we're in the area, we might as well do the diddle. There used to be a walk to, to school in the morning sometimes up here. You see, which I wasn't always the smallest. It was only after when I was about after about eleven that they all shot up and I had to make friends with all the kids like bullies. <laughs> and I used to be school monitor. I, you, do you remember Rowley, Reg? No. He was he was the Tony Bishop of the year below. Uh, and I remember I'd got I was a school monitor on the door and I had to throw him out as well. That was quite a fight. How did that go? <laughs> and he, he got my head under his arm and he was put, I remember that and I um, I got his little finger and almost broke pushed it in. So which way do you want to go? That, straight over yeah, or? Turn right in here. Turn right. My dad used to work over there at what was the uh, safety, road safety offices. And behind that building there, there is an enormous great underground um, safety uh, zone where all the city council would go and hide when they dropped the bomb. And he took me down into it once. And it, uh, you know, the massive cavernous area with you know, breathing apparatus and living conditions. And all the officials of Birmingham would have gone and hid in that when they, uh, they dropped the big one. Wow. So we used to go to, we came to the swimming baths. Let's turn left. 
Sandon Road. How about that from memory? <laughs> Now the other one that I was going to go to is Smethwick Baths. That's where we're heading for now. It's splendid. We both, Barry and I, used to go there an awful lot. In fact, when I just learned to drive a car, I used to pick up Johnny Hawkley, Barry, and I think Clive Benton as well at the time, and drive them all to the baths first thing in the morning. And then come back. It was, you know, my old man was quite good in fact, let, let me borrow his civil whiskey car. Because nobody much had got a car at that stage of the life. Do you know what the road is called behind the baths and the road that's in front Thim of the baths? Thimble Mill Road, I think. Uh, that's that's the name of the baths, yeah. But do you know what the road's called yeah. behind it and the Thimble road Thimble Mill in front Road, of it? I think. No. No. You've got Reginald's Road on the one side of it, and you've got Gladys Road on the other side of it. Fancy that. I never knew that. Road. Gladys Road. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gladys Road, as G L A D Y S, but it could be Gladys with Reginald Road on the other side of it. When I was looking to find the places, I was amazed at the nomenclature. Reginald Road Day Nursery there, and Johnny Hawkley, uh, our mates at school, he couldn't swim a blooming stroke, and he used to go and jump off top board. He'd come up, bub, 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 and we'd go and grab him out the water and drag him to the side. Really? It's still a swimming centre, so I, I thought it'd be turned into a, a supermarket. Come on, let's go and ask him if we can have a look round. Oh, no, he'd be a bit too bloody cheeky, Rich. No, I it, don't think it is. Just a, it's, it, it's had its ear for us, and that's... 80 years ago? No, that's... well, no, less than, but... No. I'm just going to have a quick you know, reception, dance studio and dance training. Yeah, it was a fabulous It's a fabulous building, really, it is. And, and this sense will be sort of replaced. No, no, no. 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 Sorry, I've missed that. So, centre will be closing down, and, and sort of um, the, the the new Commonwealth Centre will be taking um, its place. Not one. So, what will happen to this? It can't be not. It can, it, it's, I think it's listed. Is it? It's listed. Yeah, good. So, so <laughs> it can't. It can't be uh, knocked down, which no. is good. Um, obviously, it, it won't be used as a, um, sure. as, a, as a pool anymore, so... Oh, I'm glad we've seen it. So... Oh, well, we, we, we're still talking three, four years away yet. It's a great pool. But uh, what it's... What do you think of it? It's the architecture. Uh, the architecture yeah. of it, I think, is... is, is it's but it's a good size as well. I mean, we're going back <coughs> a lot of years, and yeah. this was the biggest one. It's an unusual size as well because it's 30 metres, 33 to 30 yards. Competition then, isn't it? Yeah. No. No, it's not. No, no. No. That's the problem. No, no, no. Because if you think a lot, a, a lot of the a lot, of, a lot of the races now are 100 metres. In metres, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you can't you can't do 100 metres because it it works out at. Well, it was big to us as kids. All our school gardens used to be out here. Yeah, mine were. Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, so you've come at the right time. I'm yeah, yeah. pleased about that because say, it's such a big part of our lives, all of us, and uh, you know, our, our era, remember it as, as being the place to be. Part of our he was always a sporting one. I, he used to drag me out on all these cycling and muckrows here and all, and I used to go off dead. But here, I loved it. Yeah, my auntie used to say the same. She used to leave for Saturday evenings, Friday nights, Saturday evenings, at the at the at, at, it at was the the major place. It was the, you know, the place where all the young things of the day came and let their hair down. And yeah, had a but um, what what stunned me was that the boards have gone. Mm -hmm. The diving boards. Well, it's well, do you remember the upstairs and the bar? Yes. The yes. yes. We'll have a look at yes. this. Yes. Yes. Why would you go yeah. up there? Yeah. 
I'm going to shot his window there rather than do a panoramic job. I thought it was a bit different. It's a bit different there, yeah. The, 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 the old house, you remember with all the tables and the chairs there? Yeah, and I think that this corner here... Assuming you haven't changed the structure. I don't, I'm just from the photos, from the photograph. I think there was a, was there a cane to here? I think so. so. I'm getting mixed up. We're we're going to make it. Okay. Yeah. Just because it's just a lot of things, so maybe they have to remember. You know, they're new. Yeah. 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 Backstage. This is your memory room. Yes. Oh yeah. Well, so all the uh, backstage. All the top, top last people that are in the band used to be here. Changing rooms for the axe. Yes. Were in there, and then the entrance doors to the stage were. Yeah. yeah. So this is all backstage now. So then, then Wonder Robson, who was still in Bombay. This is what we've got it on. Oh, and we've really? got the oh, yeah. 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 on the walls. I was just doing the swimming, but yeah. I wouldn't have known about this at all. Yeah. Yeah. A bit hard to do. <laughs> Come and look at this. To get all the way around the pool, you'd be on your hands and knees. Yeah. But the reason that they built this specifically like this is because of um, the storage for that that dance floor. Oh, um, yes. Scaffolding. So it was designed yeah. to be a dance floor initially. Yes. Yeah. 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 God, that was for the stage. Time, wasn't it? Yeah. And, and each each base section um, would be labelled up, and I'll show you some numbers. We get down. Each bay would have a specific section of oh, scaffolding. Oh, we've got you. We've got the right man here. Really. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even know we were coming in. Many people would know about it from no. various facets. So, you know, and then they used to ship ship the scaffolding, the wooden scaffolding, to a guy um, just where those filters were. Yes. And then there was a hatch, and they used to chuck the scaffolding through the hatch. Onto the pool side. Wow. Health and safety was made, I think. What was the name of the guy, the architect? Chester. Chester. Chester Button, I think it is. You see the button on the oh, button? Yep. Yeah. This, oh. this was the entrance in um, to the air raid shelter. Right? So you can imagine yeah. air raid sirens are going off, people are kind of, the community are piling in through Barrage, the doors. The room, search, right? We can remember all that, you know. Original posters are still up. Huh? Unfortunately, they were, they, they, they were yeah. cabled over. Yeah. 
but it tells you how to put all your better baby maids, the air raid shelter, um, diseases. They they're all still here. And be, there's some beautiful graphics. Which is incredibly modern typing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we just can't let all this lot go, though, can we? We need the stage of development. Surely they're going to keep some of this open for heritage. I hope so. I do hope so. Oh, yeah. It's obviously very too risky. And then, just prepare for your head, Scott. And then, Maxine and everything like that. It's in two sections. It was really built, the structure of it was really built with stone. Well, that's what we've got. We, we can't work out whether it was built as an air raid shelter or whether they converted it to an air raid shelter. Did they know that war was imminent when this was being built? 30, 30, 34. They wouldn't have put these in and the original structure unless they knew this was going to be an area. You couldn't put that in after, could you? No, like, no, 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 no. So or or, or whether they did a survey of the buildings afterwards and which lended themselves to a... Could be. You yeah. know, so... There's a bit of doubt, but there's not much. No, it's quite good, actually. It's a swimming pool, Barry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's built for the The half a million litres of water have just been on that wall. Right. So we're on the back of the Sorry? Where are you? What was the change? Where was the reception? No. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I've said I've seen the facts. Yeah. And what you've got is, is even, even like we do today, when we're, we're, when we're bored, we do not. And you've still got German planes up on the walls. You've got, you've got doodlings of soldiers and bombs. On the wall. No. But they're, 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 they're genuine, they are genuine 1940s. I would guess this is all reinforced concrete. I wouldn't think the stick. Small Back ball. in the day when they, when they needed to drain the pool and put this yeah. up. I'll show you that as well. That's the one, just straight. And that goes, is it dropping? And that just goes to drain. That goes through the filters, through the filters, and then then to drain. Wow. Um, is it sort of recycled at all? Right? Yes, it is constantly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's constantly uh, constantly being filtered and chlorinated and heated. So 20, 24 hours a day, 365 yeah. days. Still work on yourself. But that is a substantial point. Sort of cast iron, you know, um, because obviously they needed to drain that water. Because it gets some sort of use. Because what happens if you drain a pool quick, it does that. It goes in, it loses the structure. Yeah, yeah, because the water's the water's trying to push the walls out. Yeah. Yeah. And what you'll find is if if modern day pools have to be drained at a constant slow to allow that flex back mm -hmm. without, without without cracking the pool tiles. But this you can just drop this. No problem at all. Oh, Denver and that fantastic for yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It is, it is. It's very clever. Yeah. But, um, that's it, gents. That's it. That is magic. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Well, you're more than welcome to. Uh, Any time you want to pop back, and it's your day. Day, 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 Fletcher. Day. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Any time. Best birthday present I could have had. Any time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it is. Right, shall we make our way back yes, up to the chairs? <laughs> Bye girls. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Keep the good work going. Thanks again, mate. Thank you very much. Do you want to go to Rotten Park? Rotten Park Road is Barry's flat road, yeah.
special seat for. Oh, they, they used to had all their allocated seats, mate, in the barbecue in the uh, smoke room. She'd always lived in flats. Flat over the shop. Flat in the tower block. No, she was absolutely golden. Thank you very much for coming with us. Yeah. It's been a been a handy out. At least I could do it. I can't think of a better way of business, mate. Well, exactly. I need to come in for a tinkle. Yeah, me too. You still can't do the blooming door though, can you? Oh, come on, focus. Yeah. What thing have you lost? That's what I've got to have. Ah, yeah. Biscuits, you got your biscuits out the yeah, side? I've got them. Unless you want one. No. Can we give you anything now? Yeah, they use the toilet. Times. We can have some cheese and biscuits. Give me my scotch. Welcome. Good day, good day, good day. I like the sunshine at the end of it as well. 